So these are the five steps uh, to derive the valuation. We start with the to get the free cash flow from ops. Then we add back non-operating assets, which are marketable securities. And that gets us to what we call an enterprise value. Then we'll subtract out non-operating liabilities, which are capital from debt sources. Then we further subtract preferred stock, and we end up with common stock. So that's what we'll be using. And here's our example. We have data. Free cash flow for uh, T0 is 24 million. WAC is 11%. Free cash flow uh, growth rate is constant. That's this overly simplifying assumption of 5%. Marketable security is 100 million, debt of 200, preferred stock of 50, and shares of 10 million. Again, this might just seem like a random set of things here right now, but hopefully when we go through the Excel example, you'll see how the pieces fit. All right, so let's start with it. We just put the steps here, which we'll follow. And we have the data that I just carried for it. So it's all in one spreadsheet at one time. So let's take the free cash flow for the end of year one. Well, we know that at the T0 is 24, and we grow it one more year times one plus the growth rate of 0.05. So this is the free cash flow projected for the end of year one. So now we can use our handy formula to derive the free cash flow the present value of the free cash flow out to infinity, assuming constant growth. So it equals FCF for the T plus 1 divided by, open parens, the WAC of 0.11 minus the constant growth rate of 0.05. And we end up with $420 million. Wouldn't it be great to be that easy to value a company? Then we have to add back the non-operating assets, that's $100 million. And that leads to the sum being the value of the enterprise. Then we subtract liabilities, in this case, non-operating liabilities, rather, which is debt, 200. And so the value of equity is 520 minus the 200. And that's 320. And we have to subtract the value of preferred shares, 50 million in this case. So the value of common equity is 320 uh, minus the 50, it's 270. 10 million shares outstanding, and the value per share is 270 divided by 10. So this is per share. Um, so that's a handy number, of course, for stock owners. All right. So this box here is a very simplistic example of evaluation using FCFs. Okay.